Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ties of Avarice. And yeah. Dragon Raider. Had a little bit of a fight before the stream started. Um, didn't do much else, only went to the trader and sold off all the excess programmable field arrays and stuff that we had on us. So we have 1.4 million now, because we were holding like six of them. And then I saw this dude flying around because I came back down to this area. It took me about 40 minutes to actually track him down. About 20 seconds to get them to bail, which was nice. Hey, troubleshooter. How you doing? Yeah, he was faster than me in Travel Drive, so I had a real problem tracking him down, so that's why there are satellites here. We followed him through to here, and he flew off in this direction. So I literally set a guide point there, and then um, he wanted our stuff that's in our cargo hold, because we're carrying silicon wafers. Nice little uh, thing to get undercover pirates to come after you. Let's claim our dragon. Dragon Raider. Uh, it's on the top, isn't it? I do like the dragon. It nearly ripped me apart because it has all those forward firing guns that we blew off of it. Yep, there it is. Uh, better switch to the actual repair laser. Cool. Docking granted. This was a, a free family's dragon masquerading as a Riptide Raiders. Yeah, and uh, as I said, we knocked a few of the guns off it when it decided to give up. She. Um. He actually have captain. The other question. No, it doesn't. It is a crew member, but it doesn't have an assigned captain. So that would be forward planning. Promote the best crew member. I'm just gonna follow until further orders. Um yeah, there we go. Let's take the dragon back and get it fitted. Then we're just going to continue on with the uh, missions. Next mission is going to be like a boarding tutorial, so it should be easy enough. Dragon Raider. Oh. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. So we're going to get ourselves a second dragon. Outside of the dragon only has one shield hard point. Entering Avarice One. Uh, we will actually dock here. Riptide Rakers Shipyard. Uh, 
example, that is a nice paint job. I'd keep that paint job. Right, we have no shields, so we can't boost. Successfully docked. Such a good looking game. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Dragon Raider. As some people don't like the whole walking on stations thing, but it gives you the scale. So the tide happened not too long ago. Uh, dark and white there. So we should be good to go after the second dragon. Be good for a while before that erupts again. There's the she. find this dragon. And add it to our collection. Uh, Riptide Raiders and the bigger syndicate don't really use dragons. Or that class of ship. They don't use corvettes. They usually use the Barbarossa or fighters. So that kind of piqued my interest when I saw that size of ship flying around. I know they basically fly back and forth between these three systems at the moment. If we catch them, well, we won't catch them on this gate because they'll go straight through. Oh, there it is. Yeah, three families. We're just going to catch him on the hop, rip through his shields, and then force him to bail out. Just like we did that one. Uh, I got one head on and kind of run against the dragon because I wasn't in range, and he just tore through my shields. And luckily, his turrets were no good. about there.
good old age teaching us how to take measly freighters. Here we are taking corvettes off other pirates. And then using those corvettes we'll be able to take bigger ships. I realized then that we actually have travel engines on this ship, so I'm gonna want to refit. He's still here. No, it moves around so fast. We do know he's hopping around between the stations, as they normally do. Fields are back. the ships only. We're not interested in the stations or anything. And then we'll see them straight away. Even if we're not paying attention. Downside of the she with these engines and this setup is that it's pretty slow. And I couldn't catch the dragon when it was traveling between systems, it just happened to stop over here and then wanted to attack me, which was great. But I didn't have to chase it. So, same story here. I'm trying to get in range of this dragon so they calm us, looking for us to drop our freight. And we kill them. Or take their stuff. That station just took damage. Oh no no no! Oh, lucky. Maybe just got bumped by something. I'm not going to spend too long looking for this dude, but I would like to get it. Just taking random damage. do while we're waiting is transfer a crew member over to that dragon. Okay, maybe we can't.
You have more than one crew, right? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, then. There it is. All the wrong buttons. Dragon Raider. Hey again, you see how quickly he speeds up. Beauty of split ships. Entering Avarice One. Okay, he's going over that way. Since he's not going to the gate, which means we can catch him. Already damaged as well, so I would expect them to like jump out real quick. We know he's not a replied Rakers dragon. Please do. didn't even have shields. I thought he had full shields. Never mind. So anyway, that's the easiest dragon we'll ever take. Oh, you got screwed. You had no forward firing weapons or anything. I didn't see anything blow up. I just got hit by the tide. Dragon Raider. We'll dock at the wharf then. Yeah, look at that standard speed compared to the she at the moment is like 200 and something. It is nuts. Docking granted. Going on here? There we go. Successfully docked. All right then. Uh, you currently have split mark one.
But Dragon Mark 3 is on. Dragon Mark 2 shield. In 6k shields. It's our weapons. We can get bolt repeaters. But we can get bolt repeaters. But do we want... I don't really want a torpedo launcher. I'm going to stick with the bolt repeaters for the moment. And then turret-wise... Plasma. Yeah, this is our anti-fighter. Good docking computer, it's gonna be 1.5 million. And 6 million, yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> Pretty much all our money, but yeah, I haven't even repaired it yet. K short on pairing it. So what we'll do is that paired. We'll put in service crew like that. Two and a half minutes, and that ship will be ready. Look at the she real quick. Yeah, like the she has four thousand two hundred shields. The dragon has six. Sorry, yeah, four thousand two hundred, and the dragon is going to have six thousand. And it tells you all you need to know there. Uh, let's get up out of there. Dragon raider. Go to the wharf and we will check out some paint jobs. Actually looks pretty nice. So does that. Very tight Annie. Yeah, not so much on that. Very vaguer. You kind of like that too. Yeah, they don't actually look great. I presume there's more down the bottom. with a great tip. Like that. 
Green and red is kind of nice too. Oh, uh, I think that's the winner anyway. Yeah, Space Centurion Black. I think it's gonna be our main one. That's why I bought 72 of them. Cool, and now she's ready. That's very loud, isn't it? Vulture, Sentinel, Damascus. Need to turn down that a little bit. Seems effects. That, that's going to be very loud. Sorry about that. And you guys are going to be... I'll leave you on attack all enemies and then does this work? Okay. Not yet. Hurt. Arm disarm. He does work. And now that we have Rue in here, we don't need to assign a captain, but we will transfer a crew member over there. And then we're going to get you to the dock and wait there. Nova, Sentinel. Right then, we need to go earn back all the money we just spent. I'm thinking, yeah, let's let's go after that guy. The Ministry of Finance is not exactly going to have any stations in here. Although, what's this? Vulture, Sentinel. Hey, Riptide Rakers. Ormorant, Vanguard, Ides, Vanguard, Ormorant, Vanguard. Vanguard. 
You really should. Hell, I don't want to hit him too much. Laser tower. You have our shields out. Oh, our shields are terrible, but. Persistent. Give him that. What do you want? I have no interest in surrendering. That's a shame. Oh, good. He did not destroy our shields. Cormorant would have been a nice pickup. No. Ides, Vanguard. Honestly, I just wanted to kill him. <laughs> Gotta wait for our shields to come back anyway. Yeah, this is a handy area, you know, we can kind of just bounce on any transports that come along. Courier, Sentinel. I just want to courier. There's a large ship there that I want to see. I could just do this. Pelican, Vanguard. See what that is. I'd need a Marines. Vulture, Vanguard. For you, I wouldn't. See if we can get the vulture to bail, and if we can't, uh, then we'll just move on and do the mission, which will be boarding a ship as well. Out of any trouble, I do. Already dropped his cargo. Laser tower, Mark One.
Capture Vanguard. Damage is getting serious. Jeez, you should bail out. Zero. <laughs> then let's claim this. We pop out the top of the dragon. Dragon Raider. Vulture Vanguard. The entrance. Should be then. Yeah. Small and medium ships will always have the signal leak dragon around the space ship entrance. But like on the dragon here, it's on the top. On the vulture, it's there on the Docking bottom. Granted. But you don't have to send a marine over to claim it, because sending a marine over to claim it does damage. And you'll lose modules and stuff. No, I don't think that actually has much left. Vulture Vanguard. Uh, transfer crew. Confirm that. Get you to dock over there as well. He's gonna slowly make his way over and let's get out of his system so that he doesn't run into an asteroid. Shuyako, Sentinel. Yeah, once we get a ship with a bunch of marines, we'll go after one of them. But for right now, we're going to do this. Want to do this dude? Autopilot engaged. We'll make our way there. Entering Avarice Four. And let's see what else is going on. Actually, going to move the she out of Avarice. We're moving to the Alliance Wharf. We're going to be operating up here, I presume. And it'd just be handy to have him around. Again, Dragon doesn't have the best shields. We don't want to get into like a multi ship fight. Honestly, we could sell that for a million. Tempted, but kind of want to have the back up there as well. Hold on to it for now. Entering system windfall.
Again, with the high tech paint mod, they all cost one credit, so buy as many of them as you want. The vendor allows a hundred of them, but you can just go back and buy them again. And every vendor has them. Entering Windfall 1 Union Summit. So yeah, he finally made it out, uh, got, it, got away from that fleet that he was taking on, <laughs> still at 70% hull. Into range in common. So. Ship, man. In order to efficiently conduct a boarding operation, you need Marines aboard your ship. I can see that you already have a group of capable Marines in your employment. God, I was hoping to. Chip Monk, surely nice to see you. Did you manage to assemble an outfit of Marines? Excellent. Let's go. Right, let's see if our two Marines can take this ship. Entering system, 18 billion. Pelican, Vanguard. The large. Okay. Fine. Fine. We'll bring four Marines. Entering system, windfall. Yeah, luckily enough, the dragon is a quick ship. Bigger syndicate, wharf. I'll go pick a couple of marines, then go back. Mission though, it shouldn't be difficult. Got the dragon can slow down pretty good. It's all that breaks. Docking granted.
successfully docked. Welcome. Um, actually, do you have anything different here? We have 500k. No, you don't. Can't buy anything off you. Okay then, let's hope four marines is enough. Entering system, 18 billion. Doesn't even have shields. That is the ship that the Maestro picked out as suitable. How about you fly closer and scan it? That way, we can get a better idea of what we are dealing with here. Close enough. Crew. <laughs> you can see how many crew members are aboard the ship. That and the ship's general state will give you a good idea of how much of a challenge boarding will be. This trader here looks to be sufficiently weak. Hey, Toby. We will not need too many marines to make it ours. What mods am I running on? Not many. Um, it looks like a big list, but it's not much. It's basically just stuff I didn't turn off. Uh, better kill credit, better target monitor, dead airs, dynamic wars. Uh, yeah, I forgot to turn these off. Uh, no thanks, Tanoi, which is really good. I have Reaction Force, Reactive Docking on, Sector Patrol, none of this really matters at the moment. Uh, yep, yeah, Ship Reverse Engineering is still on for some reason. That's a bug. Uh, the Mod Sport APIs is on. Subsystem Targeting, Orders, and Tech Paint Jobs. That's it. Sounds like a lot, but it's not, not really. Um, let's just board the damn ship. Oh wait, no, I, I... Let's do the mission the way they want us to do the mission. Disable the engines and turrets so that the trader is completely darkness. The worse the state of the trader, the better your chances for a successful boarding. Oh, Vero, Vero is not updated to this version, man. And uh, it's not going to be. Not for a while, anyway. 
As far as I'm aware, it is. Ah. Uh, did have to get it from his Discord? From Shula's Discord? be okay for this run with a BRO. Anyway, let's just send over the Marines. Pod launched. Moving to target. Oh, only four Marines, so it's only one pod. Yeah, no, um, we'll, be, we'll be fine with our BRO for this run. We'll probably just do the campaign missions and then a little bit after that. We're making our way through the hull. <laughs> All right, fair enough, man. Fair enough, but have a good evening. We're just going to wait for the Marines to do their job. They don't fire a bunch of pulse repeaters at them. Preparing for breach. Sit rep. Green. I wish it gave you a visual indication of the boarding from here. Other than having to go in here and check the strength. Marines back. Yeah, I did. I did assign a captain to the ship. Of course he got his engines back straight away, which is good. Normally they would not be back to normal. To full health. Yep, he'll make his way back, but we'll just fly through ourselves and then um get through it quicker out of system. Windfall. Oh, look, you got a ship back. Barbarossa, Magpie, Vanguard. You ever don't have plot armor, I'm killing you. Shouldn't take too long. 
for the prize to come through the gate. If we go to this view, then this one. Really wants to zoom in, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, we're a bit close, I suppose, and it's Pelican Vanguard. And if you could move more than one meter a second, it would be nice. <laughs> Doing rotating? Yeah, he's rotating. Alright, what I'll do then is I'll fly back through the gate. <clears throat> I'll fly back through the gate. Entering system, 18 billion. That will allow him to maneuver through out of system magic. And hopefully be a bit closer. Entering system, windfall. Hey, Og, um, what does it say today? What does it say today? Falcha? Ah, just welcome. This means welcome. Or the longer version is Falcha wrote or wrote. Which is your welcome. Do you want to hand it over now? Your much appreciated. Fly to the equipment dock? Why? The mission to fly to the equipment dock. Ah. Okay. We'll get this blueprint. Are we pirating this room? Yeah. Uh, we're doing the pirate storyline. We picked up a. Uh, Two dragons at the start of the stream from Entering system 18 billion. a different pirate group. The only ship that we bought is this vulture. Then we pirated the two dragons. Uh, we salvaged the she. Which I want to refit actually. And then we fired at that other vulture as well. I like the dragon, it's a quick ship and has a lot of firepower. Entering system. Silent like a mini Niagara. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We might go up to like a couple of large transports and stuff and sell them off, get a bit of money. Yeah, eventually we'll capture a couple of destroyers and stuff, hopefully. Uh oh. There we go, we missed it. I keep forgetting. 
how long it takes this ship to slow down. Yeah, and then we're starting back into World Tech tomorrow. Entering system, Profit Center Alpha. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, okay. Dragon I forgot what this mission was. Any... Any pirate factions are there? Um, so the new ones are the bigger syndicate, which is the proper pirate faction. Uh, you have the Riptide Rakers, which are more of a more of a scrap faction, I think. And then there's the Yaki, the actual pirates, and Scale Plate Pact, and the Free Families. There's always been a couple of pirate factions, but they were always offshoots of the other factions. I suppose the two pirate factions with individual ships, their own ships, are the Yaki and the Vigor Syndicate, and the Vigor Syndicate got like three different fighters and a capital ship, well, yeah, one capital ship, really. Spacesuit EMP. Like the bomb. You say so. Mission. Get backspace to stop. Tide Rakers are now enemies of the God Realm of the Paranid. Hey, Carson, how are you doing? Are they inside there. Not too bad. Wish they went more in depth with this kind of stuff. I mean, properly in depth, not just this. Come over to watch some relaxing gameplay. Stop. 
I hope it's relaxing for you. Hey, Lishrak. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? The Shrek cold eyes. Scan that. Point you towards Bosota. Thanks for that. You stop right there. What are you doing here? There has been a breach in security. Explain yourself. This off or I'll shoot you. Oh, dude. Yes, you can ask questions, no problem. That was too close for comfort. I only have about 1300 hours, so I'll try to answer. <laughs> hey, SMG, uh, what ship is what? This one? This is our dragon that we just picked up uh, a little while ago. It's fancy new paint job. Split Dragon Corvette. Oh, dude, Terran Conflict? I don't even know how many hours I have in that game. I still have the box here somewhere, along with Reunion and Albion Prelude. Uh, it wants me to dock there now, okay. Yeah, so uh, we picked up this dragon. It was uh, Free Family's Dragon that was. Messing around down in Everest. It's a Corvette, yeah. It's a Corvette. Let me show you uh, the scale. I love the scale of this game. So we'll actually get out of it here. I only played through the other day as part of the VIG and want to get into readings. Successfully done. You need a trading station building. You want to build a trading station, you mean? Welcome. Dragon. Raider. Let's get out of here. Feel like a boss. Trading slash station building. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, this is what I love, is the scale. Yeah, this is a Corvette. There's a medium transport.
I, I, that, I love the detail on the ships, like all these little details. And still, this is just a Corvette. Split Corvettes. It's fast, has a lot of forward firing guns, has two turrets on top. Only has one shield bay though. Don't mind the combat music, this is a playlist from Spotify. Oh, he's actually outside. Is he in a she? Estrel, Vanguard. Oh, never mind. Good. There it is. There he is being. Uh, what I could only say is complete X4. Oh yes. Um do, 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 do. have you done much trading at all, Lishrak? Get stuck inside geometry. It used to be a lot worse than it is, um, but it's not too bad now. Right, trading. Your basic trading is actually kind of simple. Um, oh, you're finished, so that's good. Entering system. Silent witness. You played in quite a while. That's all right. I'm gonna turn off all that because right, we'll do the basics. So. I have a medium transport here. I'm just going to presume you will have a transport ship of some sort. Even a fighter has a bit of cargo space. But if you want to do basic trading, so I've flown around to these stations. And uh, if you see the difference here, right? This. Entering system. Oh, Station gotcha. Yeah, you picked, picked the other one. Yeah, that's no problem. You see this station here is kind of highlighted differently to this one. But I have active, I have up-to-date trade information on that one. Pretty sure what that means. Now, I could be wrong on that, but, but I'm pretty sure it means. You see that's hollowed out. If you go into your map, you turn on your trade filter. And it obviously changes to whatever you zoom. Trading is really simple if you want to get into it quickly. You're going to see a bunch of things that are on sale in, in the area you have on screen in this little box here. You see that little Entering box outline? Gotta remember, it's not the whole screen, it's this box that, that appears. And this is in uh, a different box Auto here. Pilot. Disengage. But uh, yeah, simple thing. See that they're not the same things, which can make it kind of awkward. But you can go in here and you can add and remove wares from this list here. So if you know exactly what you're looking for and you want to look around all the areas that you have uncovered, so I could say I want to look at plasma conductors and silicon wafers. Click OK. I can see that there's nobody selling them here. I'm just going to close that again. But if I zoom all the way out, then again, you can see the selection box there. Because it's covering all of these sectors. So you can see here, silicon wafers. And it'll highlight the station that it's it's choosing. So if I wanted to buy silicon wafers, if I just use this, it would buy them up here. And then if I wanted to sell them, it would be selling them down here. And it's literally a matter of right click. Do that. That will give you your trade. 
confirm that and then you can go and right click that. Um, I don't want to do that because it would mean flying through there because we don't have the other ways picked out yet. So let's say, yeah, plasma conductors. Is actually a terrible trade. They're being sold for 1,095 credits and they're being bought for 829 credits, which is terrible. So we're going to cancel that all together and we're going to go for a different option. And this highlights another thing, right? You see hull parts here? I know that that's a good price that I can sell the hull parts at. If I hold down control and left click that, it highlights them. You don't have to go in the menus and go searching for stuff and all that kind of stuff. You can literally just highlight things here. Uh, yeah, if they're in, if they're inside a satellite radius, then there you are constantly getting updated. Like I'm going to constantly get updated here because I have that ship there. So if it's in your sensor net, you're going to get updated. And then when you get the um, It's an awesome trade for whoever gets those plasma conductors. Yeah, but you don't want to be the one giving them. <laughs> Unless you've taken them off a ship you blew up. Um, but again, right, we'll, we'll do this as a, just a quick, quick thing. So we're going to buy the hull parts for 227 apiece. Although transaction value is 85k. Confirm that. He's now on his way to do that. And then again, just right click. And you actually have a bunch of energy cells on board, which we can also sell here. But just selling the hull parts from that transaction, we're going to make 20 grand. And then just let's get rid of that because we don't have much space. We can do that and then queue them up. So 194,000 and then we're going to sell them for 233. So all in all, we're going to get uh, money. But he's going to go off and do that. That's the basics of tr those trades, manual trades. And if I go in here, he's a two and a half star pilot at the moment. Once he gets the three stars, you can go in here. You can set him up as an auto trader. But oh, they put in local auto trade, didn't they? Okay, let's do something here. Hold on a second. Got that. That's new, isn't it? Uh, we want to repair you first because we just took this a little while ago. A low preset would give it shields for 11 grand. Oh. Oh, spent 280k upgrading you to be useful. And after that, pop in here. It's in sector and universe trader, basically, yeah. Uh, there's a limited range, though. Do a local auto trade, and we're gonna do hull parts. Hmm, maybe we're not. No, the price is terrible there. But we're not gonna do hull parts. What we can do is remove that. Nobody's selling that, yeah. Electronics. be buying them in this system. Energy cells usually are, yeah. But again, nobody buying them here at the moment. The issue with this is that it's local, so it's just in that one sector. These aren't great sectors for it. Because they're only... Yeah, they're only making the three items. Scrap, scrap, scrap. And a solar power plant. More scrap.
And again, we can see what's being sold here, but we don't have any prices because, again, none of these... We haven't visited any of these in a while. So, let's get him to fly to here. So, he's going to fly in along that uh, superhighway. And he's going to pass by all them and get updated prices. And then we'll, we'll look at the local auto trail later then. Yeah, but I hope that first part kind of explains simple trading. I'm not good at explaining stuff. Uh, do you have a medium dock? Barbarossa. Docking not possible. You do not have a medium dock. But we're going to head over to the wharf. We're going to bring up our fighter to the wharf. Yeah, energy gel energies uh, energy cells is usually a safe bet but avarice is a uh, one of those systems really close to a sun so it's gonna have a, a huge energy output and again I me mean, so like avarice if you click avarice here uh what do i want to go into again Sunlight production in Avarice is 1390%. You're going to make a ton of energy cells for every uh, solar panel array that you put in down there. Yeah, same across the board. Yeah, man, it's it's like right next to the sun. Have you seen Avarice yet? We'll pop down there in a minute. Then if we go to Windfall. Sunlight is 13%. And 18 billion is next door. It's 100%. Actually, some really cool pictures there. You'll get a lot of 100%s. You've been to the one that has the exploding sun? Yep, that's Avarice. It's that close to the sun. The only other one that's like that is... Is Mercury? I think it's Mercury, right? Oh, there's our fighter. Bigger Syndicate Wharf. Docking granted. save the highest next three heat turn conflict was 200 250 could be yeah uh... then again um Dragon the economy Raider. is completely different again I love the scale yeah, there's our fighter. This is our Corvette. There's our fighter. Just gonna let him dock. And then we can hit shift D.
Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, real she quick, we're going to have a look at this and see if they have the parts just to upgrade the engines on this. Because um, we have terrible engines on this. Now you're missing hull parts, and I'm not waiting around for hull parts. Good man. Good. That's why you get um, get a station built there. Get them supplying to this even. Maybe take out a bit of the competition. And then once your manager gets leveled up, uh, he'll be able to reach out further. Up to like five sectors away, but people will come to buy off you anyway. Is it the she? This is like the heavy pirate fighter. 